Hey, Columbia Glider Dave here. Uh, so let's talk business. Tuesday, I am going to get some uh, ramps installed on my trailer in Pennsylvania. Um, do, I'm going to do a video of where I'm at and all that good stuff, uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. <clears throat> so we've got uh, one of our drivers is out on a tour, and tours seem like they might be an interesting thing. And some of the uh, loads that are offered to us, uh, besides the tours, need ramps. Uh, I don't know too many trucks that have ramps, and most people when you talk to them about ramps, they don't know where to get them or what kind of ramps to get. And I was in that situation uh, for a little while. But now I know what I want, and I know what uh, what's needed for what I want to do. Uh, some of the tours that uh, go to, you know, wide open places, you know, campgrounds, uh, you know, open air venues, you know, that sort of thing. There are no loading docks, so you need ramps. Uh, furniture that's delivered to, you know, new construction, banks, restaurants, stuff like that. Usually it's in a strip mall and there's no loading docks. You need ramps. Okay, so what kind of ramps make sense for that sort of thing? Uh, I was looking at uh, ordering, uh, you know, aluminum ramps, fiberglass ramps, you know, what, what length do you need, uh, different things like that. And what I settled in on is uh, Melcher is a well-known brand of ramps that's, uh, that's out there. They make a, a fiberglass ramp, a split ramp, uh, 16 feet long. Uh, that's, that's the length of the ramp that you, that you would want so that it lowers the, uh, the pitch. You know, if you're shorter, it's gonna be steeper to roll things down. And it's, uh, it's a 36 inch ramp uh, when, when they're put together but because it's a split ramp what that means is it's split right down the middle and usually the I, I gotta look at the ones that I ordered usually there's there's a pin and holes and you slide them together and it locks in like that uh, there's different ramps uh, that lock together called split ramps I believe the Melcher is you gotta do that slide it like that together so what's the advantage of a split ramp versus a ramp that's uh, a fixed 36 inches, or uh, I mean, you can get them as wide as you want. You know, it's custom order, uh, the aluminum ramps. And what's the advantage of uh, fiberglass? So fiberglass obviously is gonna be lighter, easier to handle. The 16 foot ramps that I ordered are uh, less than 200 pounds, or right at 200 pounds. 200 pounds is very easy to handle. The aluminum ramps obviously are gonna weigh a lot more. I don't know how much more, uh, but they're heavy. Uh, also, these Melcher ramps are rated for uh, 5,000 pounds. And the Melcher ramps, uh, they come with like a gritty traction material. So when the ramp is laid out, you know, and they go, get wet and stuff like that, it's almost like that sandpaper traction. The aluminum ramps don't have that. So when they get wet, I mean, they have some, some slotting or something like that. But still, I, I would be afraid to fall on my ass on a ramp like that versus the Melcher. You know, the Melcher, um, when you stand on them, it's very unlikely that you're gonna slip off the ramp. So, that's that's what I'm doing Tuesday. You know, I'll give you an idea of, uh, you know, how much that costed me, uh, show you what's involved with installing it. Uh, I was gonna do ramp hangers when I was at uh, Bruner Fabrication, but I just didn't want, I just didn't know how much room I'd have and what's involved with putting them in after doing the belly boxes. Now I've got everything measured out, I know what I wanna do, and I'll have them on there. So that's number one, all right? So that's for furniture loads, uh, any kind of uh, touring opportunities. And if we start developing uh, touring opportunities, uh, you know, with magicians, bands, concerts, uh, Broadway uh, theatrical stuff, if that starts happening, the next step I'll have to do is I'll have to get out of this glider because uh, a majority of that stuff runs through California. And uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, you're out of the house uh, for, you know, five, six weeks at a time. I'm okay with that because, you know, I don't have family sitting at the house waiting for me. So that is an opportunity I want to pursue. That's why I'm putting the ramps on. Now, how do you pursue those opportunities? Well, if you don't have any direct connections, you gotta go through brokers. 
brokers, you make less money uh, as opposed to getting these things uh, direct. And some of the stuff that we're doing, we should be able to get them direct because um, there are not a lot of touring companies out there, or let's say not enough to handle what's out in the marketplace, as far as I can tell. Um, and if you do a good job, you, you work your way up the food list. Now, if you go do a search of uh, music tour trucking companies, Patriot Star doesn't, doesn't even show up in any uh, searches. So, we need to start developing a uh, social media um, thing, or website, different things. So we start showing up in searches. Uh, these are all, you know, business plans and ideas that need to be uh, followed up on, um, either by the drivers or by the office, because what I can tell you is by Kenny creating um, the podcast, me doing the uh, the YouTube stuff for Patriot Star, and uh, you know, you know how I'm doing here and all that good stuff. If you search Patriot Star in general, you see all the videos related to Patriot Star. Everything comes up. So we have a social media presence uh, as well as a, a something that's searchable on the internet. Hope this guy doesn't hit me. All right. I'm back. There's a guy in a bobtail trying to blindside next to me and it was like six pull-ups and he almost hit my truck, so that was kind of scary. But, uh, so so we have a, a presence on the internet now from the Columbia Glider Dave uh, YouTube channel, uh, things about Patriot Star, uh, you know, Elizabeth uh, did some interviews, uh, Kenny did a, did a couple interviews. So we search Patriot Star, we, we start popping up in searches. But if you start searching things like, uh, pad wrap service um you, you'll probably patriot star pad well if you say patriot star pad wrap you'll see my video but if you just search pad wrap service carriers and stuff like that nothing comes up um if you search uh, touring trucks music touring trucks companies like uh, lesser which is a reefer company has the extreme division of uh, trade shows and um music venues and uh, stage call and stuff like that shows up, but not Patriot Star because uh, we don't have any content <clears throat> that would show up on the internet. So we need to develop that so we can start uh, growing more of that because we have drivers that, that are willing to do it and are doing it. Um, and we're starting to develop a reputation with uh, some of the, uh, the brokers that use us for the pad wrap and uh, tours and different things like that. So the next step is finding direct customers. Uh, how do you do that? Well, I've started walking into places not related to uh, uh, music and stuff like that, but uh, pad wrap um, and places that I see uh, rolling road cases. If I see a place, I'm gonna walk in. And there's other things that, I, that I'm doing that I don't wanna tell you because I don't want you to do the same thing. I mean, you gotta figure this stuff out on your own. Um, but what I can tell you is I got an interesting phone call uh, yesterday. Uh, there's a sales training opportunity. Uh, I don't know anything about sales. I know what I can do and what I can handle, and I can sell you on what I can do, but the way I go about it isn't necessarily the right way to go about it. So uh, in December, uh, a handful of us are going to show up uh, to a workshop to get some uh, sales training because the end result is we want to be able to bring business to the brokerage and what that does is uh, some owner operators that come over to Patriot Star don't necessarily want to self-dispatch and right now that's we're set up as a self-dispatch company and those sort of drivers that don't want to learn about how to self-dispatch how to put yourself in the right lanes uh, need a dispatcher or at the very least some direct freight that they can just point and click like you know Schneider uh, and the equivalent of that would be uh, getting an email blast, looking at a load, and hopefully it's near where you're at, and, and you can select the load, tell them how much you want, and get on down the road. But that's still, that's brokered freight that just makes it into an email blast. So now if we had some direct customers that went through the brokerage, uh, option one is it can get put on one of our trucks. Option two, it gets brokered out to, um, you know, an outside carrier. But you can't do that unless it's a uh, direct customer. 
So by uh, getting some sales training, um, now this sales training is by someone that's not necessarily focused in, in the transportation field. I think once we learn the basics about sales, um, maybe we can find somebody that, that understands uh, carrier sales and take that to the next level. But by taking the basics that this person has with 20 years experience, we can, we can expand on that and get the business that we haven't been getting. I mean, we have uh, two guys in the office right now that, that uh, have the role of finding uh, you know, direct customers as well as freight to broker out, you know, because uh, Patriot Star wants to grow the, the brokerage. And I think that's a great idea. That's two uh, revenue streams for, uh, you know, Patriot Star to grow. But right now, the brokerage, because we're a small company, just isn't doing what it needs to do. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think the it's obvious the next, the next phase is um, learning sales. And it's... There's another advantage for me um, as an independent contractor to get this training. If I decide to leave Patriot Star at some point, which I'm telling you right now, that's 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 not anywhere in my plans for the next one to two years for sure. I want to see where we're at in two years. Uh, you know, Patriot Star has to meet certain goals in my mind within the next year. Uh, by the end of next year for me to decide whether I'm staying or going. Uh, and I'm gonna do everything I can uh, to help Patriot Star meet those goals. Um, but that being said, the obvious next step is help the, uh, the brokerage grow, find five or six more guys like me that wanna do the, uh, the pad wrap, that are willing to put ramps on. Uh, you know, not necessarily have 125 blankets like I have, but you know, at the very least be willing to carry 10 decking bars uh, like I have, you know, up, up in the air and out of the way and at least have uh, 30 straps and definitely put ramps on. Uh, once we have like five or six guys that at least have the ramps and ramps aren't that expensive. I mean, if you went to Chicago, you can get those ramps for about 1500 uh, I had to pay to ship them to Pennsylvania. Um, and then uh, I think it was another 1500 to put the, the hangers on the truck. Uh, but I'll get into that on Tuesday. But if we can find five or six more guys that are willing to do the same thing, that'll help us uh, get that direct uh, tour tour show um, freight and loads, and uh, more of that uh, you know pad wrap uh, you know store fixtures that sort of thing. So we can deliver to uh, banks, offices, stuff like that. That stuff pays. And if we have five or six guys right now, we've got uh, three that are similar to what I'm doing, except they're keeping all their equipment in the trailer. I think it's gonna be interesting. Uh, and that's that's all I can say about that. I mean, we're, we're gonna grow this. We're gonna learn about direct sales. Uh, and I've gotta find six, five or six more guys. Uh, because I don't know anything about the platform side. Uh, and that's kind of slowed down the growth on that side. And I haven't heard very much going on on that side. I'm focused on, I've got to get guys that want to do the same thing I want to do so that, you know, we can, so I can grow the, the amount of freight, uh, that, that we can get and handle, uh, on, on my type of truck. I mean, anybody can move dog food. That's what I'm doing today. Anybody can move bottled water and stuff like that. Now, mind you, the brokerage is also looking to move those kind of loads as well. So... The sales training, uh, hopefully, will show us how to get by the, uh, you know, the gatekeeper, you know, um, finding the right people, asking the right questions, and, you know, my my sales idea, which may or may not be the right way to do it, uh, it's definitely a sales tool, is show up somewhere with my truck, but this is selling a service that I do, you know, the pad wrap. Say, look, here's the equipment I've got. I can do decking, securement, uh, pad wrap. Uh, I've got 20 years experience. Here's the trailer. It's clean. It's got the e-track. Uh, what can we do for you? You know, that's my idea. I, I want to hear what the uh, the person doing the the, uh, the sales training says and hear other people. You know, the two other people in the brokerage, what where they're at. You know, one's got uh, tons of experience, and the other 
uh, is learning. So I want to see what everybody else and another driver is going to show up. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, thanks for listening. I'm going to get back to... Uh, I think they're done here. All right. Hey, catch you on the next video.